Hi guys. The last time you went to the doctor when you were really sick and you were given a prescription, did you take that prescription home and try it out and say, I'm not going to take this. I don't like the way it tastes. Have you ever done that? I want you to really think about it. You never have, have you? If you were given medicine because you were ill, you take the medicine. So why would it be any different if that medicine is food? I want you to really, really sit and think about what I'm saying. Food is the medicine. Those prescriptions, those narcotics or drugs, they treat symptoms but they don't heal. They aren't preventative. Vitamins might be to a certain extent, but it's the food that's the medicine. That's what keeps us from getting sick, and that's what treats us once we are sick, so that we will feel better to heal our body from the inside out. So the next time you get a vegetable, or fruit that you're not quite sure about. I just really don't know that I like this. Find a way to make it work. Disguise it in a grouping of other flavors. Chop it up really small or blend it in a smoothie. And disguise the texture or the flavor that you're not quite sure about. But you know it has a lot of health benefits. And you really need those health benefits. You need the unique vitamins that are found in that one vegetable. Chef AJ says, just eat the dang kale. She doesn't say dang, but you get my point. So find a way to make it work because our bodies need it. So what I do, I'll eat the kale. And if I chop it up real, real small, my husband will eat it. He, he may not like it, but I do the cooking. If he wants to eat, he eats what I fix, right? The children, not so easy. Now, we're talking about grown and almost grown children. They've got minds of their own, right? So, I chop it up real small, put it in a sauce. They don't really have smoothies. My daughter does once in a while, but my son doesn't. So I take that kale and I put it in a Nutribullet with a can of white beans and some nutritional yeast and maybe some tomatoes and some herbs and spices. And I blend it all up and then I pour it over rice or in, um, in a soup or even over pasta. And they eat it up. They love what I've put it with, so they eat it. And they don't notice the texture or the taste or whatever it is that they don't particularly like. So just find unique ways to disguise the foods that you're not quite sure of, but you really know you need to eat, okay? <laughs> just a little tip. And that's how I've been getting along, okay? Have a good day, guys.